7.7 volts, 0 amps, 79 Fahrenheit. If you'd like to have telemetry on your spectrum transmitter as well, let me show you how. You'll need a Spectrum Generation 2 or newer transmitter, a Avian Smart Speed Control, and a Smart Receiver. Coming up. 15.7 volts, 0 amps, 81 Fahrenheit. If you want to win this jet, all you have to do is subscribe, click the notification bell, and the like button. Then check back with me from time to time and see my new videos. Once we get to a thousand, we're going to do a drawing. I had a drawing at 100 and only 30% signed up. With those odds, it could be a 1 in 300 chance. Subscribe. Check me out, guys. All right. Hey, guys. Oop, oop, oop. Sean here, Griffin RC Planes. Happy weekend, everybody. So, if you want that telemetry like we just saw on your transmitter, you gotta have three ingredients. You gotta have the transmitter, generation two and up, or a silver DX18, and that's any black transmitter. You know, there's a bunch of generation two transmitters that are kind of obsolete or kind of forgotten about. You know, there's, there's a lot of them, but anything black and then the silver DX18. So nothing else in the silver line and don't even try it because it won't work i've tried and then you've got to have a smart receiver because even though you have a smart speed control that'll work with any receiver you will only get the information from the smart speed control to your transmitter via the smart receiver so you got to have these three ingredients Receiver, speed control, transmitter. Now, if you don't want to see any of the speed control stuff, the smart receiver and your transmitter, then you can see a whole lot of stuff on your screen that's in the receiver, you know, which is a, which is a whole list of, of stuff depending on what your receiver is capable of. You know, altitude, the vario, your flat log, your, uh, your, your voltage um, th there's just all kinds of stuff that you can get you know the GPS and and the list goes on and on and on but the battery data and the RPMs and the temperatures and all that come from the smart speed control so once you've got the three of your ingredients hooked up like I'm gonna show you here in a minute which is no different than any other way you connect a speed control to the receiver it goes in the same uh, spot number one for your throttle and the technology the, 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 the technology is just smart and the signal wire that controls the speed control from the receiver has two-way data you, know, you give it the command of uh, throttle the plane and it can send back data on the same on the same wire if you're curious how that works it's just like uh your your cable television you know before internet and blah 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 you know you, you had your cable and you screwed it into the wall and then it went to your cable box and then the cable box to the tv you know that cable you screwed into the wall was only two wires you know the outside was the ground the inside was the signal all that information went you know to your tv and back and same thing the one wire can can transmit all that data through pwm just a bunch of different signals and different frequencies and stuff coming and going so you got your three ingredients now if you if you got it all hooked up and and nothing's working right depending on how you get your transmitter if you bought it brand new it most likely needs to be updated I don't know why spectrum sells products that way it probably has something to do with the people that manufacture it um, you know it doesn't have everything that it's capable of right out of the gate and it probably says in the manual to update it you need to register all your products with spectrum anyways it's smart to do heaven forbid got stolen nobody else could register it 
and you might be able to get it back or at least you know the person that has it can't do anything with it so register your stuff with Spectrum then I'll show you in a second it's easy to find out if you need an update your transmitter you can see the the uh, firmware you know grade that you have in your transmitter on the screen for example the DX9 is 2.09 and you can see that in the system settings so then you can go to your my spectrum and you can look and see what the latest you know upgrade is for that transmitter and if that maps then you know that's that's up to date you would log into your spectrum account you would register your transmitter with spectrum and then you would go to my spectrum under support right here and then your transmitter would now be in this list of my products and then you would go to download updates and you would then look to see what the latest you know uh, what, what what the latest airware is for your transmitter right here 2.09 then you could look at the screen of your transmitter and see if it needs to be updated or not and it's possible that the speed control is not up to date okay I've done some videos in the past I'll do some more on how to make sure your you know your avian smart speed control is up to date You'll have to have this updater box. There's no way around it. And you'll have to have a home computer. There's no way around it to see if the speed control needs to be updated. There's a servo plug on the bottom of the smart speed control right there where the white wire is. And you run that to the updater box. And then you power it with a battery. That's the firmware of the uh, programmer box now let's see what is in the speed control itself 4.0.22 now let's say your speed control is update you know it is you know your transmitter is up to date you still can't see anything then your receiver is not up to date got our spectrum usb program cable got my computer Got the receiver, we got the spectrum updater pulled up, and we hit power the cable, and power the cable, and we're pulled up, and it says 2.38, 2.38 for the receiver. All right, I'm in my spectrum, and I'm looking for the AR630, right there, download updates. And right there is 2.38 is the latest, right there. And how I know this, guys, is my Spectrum Smart battery charger. Okay, I got it. I was charging batteries for, you know, several months. On the side of it, it has a USB plug to charge your phone or whatever while you're at the field. It never worked. I plugged all kinds of stuff into it. It, it never did anything. It was like a dead USB plug. Well, then I did some videos a while back on updating your smart charger. As soon as I updated it, the menu changed. You know, I had like 20 different more options. Then I had, after the update, the ability to turn the USB plug on and off. You know, that menu choice was never in the smart charger until the update. And another reason why I know things that need to be updated after they're purchased is my brand new computer I use for the YouTube videos as soon as I got it you know I got home plugged it in started playing with it and there wasn't a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of programs you know wasn't a whole lot of icons and apps and stuff and I figured out oh, I guess it's like a phone you just kind of acquire them as you need them then I registered my new laptop with uh, Microsoft and here came this two hour download and when it got done I was I had everything <laughs> it, it had all kinds of stuff in it so it's the same with these products from spectrum if you bought a bind and fly airplane that came with smart speed control and smart receiver 
you know, they pretty much all have smart receivers now and a few have the smart speed controls. But if you bought it as a bind and fly, most likely, like 99.9%, .9%, you won't have to worry about updating them. And, you know, so if it's not working, it's your transmitter. So you need to verify everything's up to date. If you don't want to go through the hassle of doing it on a computer, how, how I showed you, you know, comparing what your screen says, you know, your what grade the firmware is in your transmitter and then looking at your computer. Maybe you have a friend that has the same transmitter. Telemetry works on his or hers. Find out what, uh, you know, what firmware is in each and just compare the apples to apples. The smart speed control and the programmer box. You don't need a computer just to see what, you know, what firmware is in the uh, speed control. You just plug the speed control to the box, power it with the battery, and it'll show you on the screen of this box. And then you can, you know, compare it to a friend or compare it to your, your computer if it needs an update. So, I guess that's uh, one last thing. The smart speed controls come ready to use with a smart battery, obviously. You know, this is the smart battery plug that I took off of my speed control because I don't use smart batteries. I have one now for, for you guys for these videos. But that's a whole another another bunch of data you can see. You, know, you can see your battery temperature, how many times your battery has been charged, discharged. Uh, you can just see all kinds of stuff. You know, these batteries discharge themselves after 72 hours set by default. And you can see all that in the transmitter. So that's a bunch of cool stuff right there. So let me show you guys how to set it up on your uh, on your screen right here. Hang tight. All right, we got our smart ESC plugged into our smart receiver, and we have our generation two or newer transmitter, with the exception of the generation one DX18. Everything's bound up. You could actually fly the plane right this second. In the transmitter, we want to go in the menu and find telemetry. And press the scroll wheel and then do auto config is what you want to do. And at this point, the receiver will tell the transmitter all the telemetry data that is available. And you can see I have ESC. If you had a smart battery plugged into the smart speed control, when you did auto config, Yours would say Smart ESC, and in spot 5, it would have Smart Battery. It would look like this. It would look like this. If you did Auto Config with a Smart Battery, when Auto Config was done, you'd have Smart Battery in 5 and Smart ESC in 1. I don't have the Smart Battery and all this technology is smart enough to know that so it didn't offer me the battery or the smart esc because the smart battery is not connected to this to the esc so i just got esc like that now we can go to the main screen and see what we got and you just roll the scroll wheel and here's our receiver voltage that would come from the receiver not have anything to do with the speed control but we have our receiver voltage and here's our speed control minimum and maximums as you're flying it keeps up with all this and you can see what your minimums were when you started out and when you're done flying you can see what your maximums were and then you roll the scroll wheel one more time and here's your ESC status as you're flying so you can see our right now there's no RPMs and no throttle because obviously I'm not giving it throttle, but I will now I'll give it a little bit. And there's the RPMs and you can see our percentage. And it gave it a little bit of an amp draw right there. And then temperature readings. Roll the scroll wheel over some more and there's the AS3X. That would come from the receiver not having anything to do with the speed control. And the gyroscope. And then our G-Force. Now, this is the smart speed control programming directly from your transmitter. 
and we'll go into that in another video. Well, I'd say all that info deserves a uh, subscribe, if you don't mind. If you guys are new to my channel and you don't know, my story is I'm giving back to YouTube. When I got, uh, I guess you can call it back end RC planes uh, at the be beginning of the unfortunate uh, COVID, I picked up everything that I know from watching YouTube. Man, there was times that I'd watch 300 videos just to find where somebody was plugging something in or to see a color of a wire or, you know, you just, that's, that's how you do it. You know, YouTube is kind of like the universal instruction manual now. So I learned everything from YouTube and I'm trying to consolidate it into one thing where you guys don't have to watch 300 videos. And then I want to give it to you guys. I want to give it back. And uh, I'm going to put a, a full year into this as hard as I can and see what happens. I thought the subscription rate would be a whole lot higher, but, but it's not. And it is what it is. And the people that, uh, that are watching are, are pretty awesome. Are pretty, pretty, pretty good. If, uh, if you ask me, I made some good friends and, and I like reading all the comments. So keep the comments coming and keep the, uh, video ideas coming. Also, this is probably my last video for several weeks. The time has come to where my mom and I have traded places and now I need to help her in her, in her golden years. So I'm going across country in a couple of days and bringing my mom back. So I'll be gone for several weeks. So it, uh, it just happens, you know, so it's my turn to, to give back to mom. So when I get back, we'll, We'll pick up where we left off. I might not be able to read the comments all that much between now and then, but I'll try. There'll be plenty of times that uh, I won't have anything to do in the evenings or something like that. Also, not now, but when I get back, we're going to do a contest. And I'm not going to say what the contest is, but I'm going to give this receiver away. Program to any plane you want or just like it is it's brand spanking new i've never taken it out of this wrapper it's an ar630 smart receiver courtesy of uh, horizon and i'll send it uh, to one of you guys i'm gonna figure out a uh i'm gonna figure out something cool a, a little contest that everybody can do and it'll be fair so all right guys hey thank you so much if you're new to my channel please subscribe and ring this bell so you don't miss any of my next videos and until next time hey you'll see me here nope yep 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 that one right there all right